This video will feature the most famous Pitbull bloodlines in the world, so sit back and get ready to dive into the history of Pitbull bloodlines. Here are 11 famous bloodlines we have listed for you. Razor's Edge Gotti Line Gotti Line Colby Line Watchdog Bloodline Gray Line Red Boy Slash Jocko Bloodline It Hurts Slash Tombstone Castillo Bloodline Jeep Bloodline Ruffian Line Iron Line This list contains only some of the most popular and important bloodlines of American Pitbull Terrier Dogs. These bloodlines may have different characteristics, especially in terms of morphology, character, and health characteristics. However, it is important to remember that the personalities and behavior of dogs depend not only on genetic factors, but also on the environment and training. Now let's get down to the details of these bloodlines. Below, I provide a list of the American Pit Bull Terrier bloodlines. While it's hard to rank in order of popularity and importance, I'll try to provide information on the origin, history, and features of each. Razor's Edge Created by Dave Wilson and Carlos Barksdale in the early 1990s, this bloodline is known for its shorter and wider builds. Initially, this bloodline was used to breed dogs with shorter and stronger builds known as the American Bully Breed. Gotti Line Founded by Richard Barajas in 1997, Gotti Line is renowned for having a short and strong build in American Pit Bull Terrier dogs. The origin of this bloodline comes from a famous dog, Juan Gotti. Colby Line Started in 1889 by John Pritchard Colby, the Colby bloodline is one of the oldest and most respected bloodlines in American Pit Bull Terrier history. Colby dogs are known for their athletic build, intelligence, and excellent working abilities. Watchdog Bloodline Created by Bruce Kovari in the 1980s, the Watchdog Bloodline consists of strong and reliable pit bulls used as guard dogs and guard dogs. Gray Line Started by Tony Moore on the West Coast in the mid-1990s, the Gray Line Bloodline produces pit bulls that are particularly noted for their large and large heads. Red Boy slash Jocko Bloodline This bloodline is a combination of two separate bloodlines, Red Boy and Jocko. Created in the 1970s, this bloodline is used to produce energetic, durable, and athletic pit bulls. Bolio slash Tombstone Bolio, produced by the Hollingsworth family in the 1960s, and Tombstone, produced by Floyd Boudreau in the 1970s, are a combination of these two bloodlines. Dogs of this bloodline are known for their strong and athletic builds. Castillo Bloodline Started in the 1980s by Frank Castillo, this bloodline focuses specifically on the strong and durable traits of working dogs. Jeep Bloodline Manufactured in the 1970s, the Jeep Bloodline produces dogs with stamina, energy, and athletic build. The origin of this bloodline comes from a famous dog named Crenshaw's Jeep. Ruffian Line The Ruffian bloodline is derived from the famous dog, Howard's Ruffian, in the 1930s. Dogs of this bloodline are known for their athletic build, energy, and ability to work. The Ruffian line is particularly popular in the American Staffordshire Terrier, Amstaff. Iron Line The Iron Line bloodline was established in the late 1990s and was used to breed American Pit Bull Terrier dogs known for their larger, strong, and broad builds. This bloodline focuses on producing dogs that are superior in both beauty and performance. These bloodlines focus on the various traits, builds and working abilities of American Pit Bull Terrier dogs. While it is difficult to rank them in order of popularity and importance among these bloodlines, some may be considered more common and respected, while others may be less well known. All of these bloodlines contribute to the genetic diversity of the Pit Bull breed, offering different dogs to suit the needs and preferences of dog owners. Who are the current breeders of Pit Bulls with these bloodlines? How can we buy them? If you're looking to buy dogs with the American Pit Bull Terrier bloodlines, it's important to first find a reliable and reputable breeder. A good breeder takes care of the health, genetics, and welfare of the dogs. Here are some steps to consider when buying an American Pit Bull Terrier. Do your research, 
Do your research first to understand the characteristics and prospects of the bloodline you are interested in, so you can decide which bloodline is best for you and your family. Find reliable breeders. A good breeder takes care of the health, genetics, and welfare of dogs. You can find reliable breeders by asking for references from local dog clubs, veterinarians, and other dog owners. You can also get information by joining online forums and social media groups about American Pit Bull Terrier breeders. Contact breeders. Contact breeders to learn about dogs' health, family history, training, and socialization. Also, ask for photos and videos of the dogs and their parents. Visit the breeders. If possible, visit the breeders' site to observe the dogs' living conditions and general well-being. This will help make sure the dogs are healthy and well cared for. Health Guarantee and Contract A good breeder guarantees the health status and genetic characteristics of the dogs. Review the dog's health guarantee and contract before purchasing. Price and Payment Terms Agree with the breeder about prices and payment terms. Remember, low prices may seem tempting, but be prepared to pay fair prices for the health and well-being of dogs. Some breeders that have bred American Pit Bull Terrier dogs include Bossy Kennels Dark Dynasty K9S Manmade Kennels Top Blue Kennels Carolina Bully Farms The list of these breeders is by no means exhaustive and some may focus on specific bloodlines. By taking the time to find a good breeder, doing research, and asking questions, you can increase your chances of adopting a healthy and happy American Pit Bull Terrier. Also, when you find a breeder who is considering dogs, they can guide you with their knowledge and advice on specific bloodlines. Note, before purchasing, check local laws and regulations, as some countries and cities have prohibited or have certain restrictions on the ownership and breeding of American Pit Bull Terriers and similar breeds. It is important to know the relevant laws and regulations. Is it possible to physically understand a pit bull with any bloodline? It seems a bit open to abuse. Yes, you are right. It is difficult to pinpoint an American pit bull terrier with a particular bloodline based on physical appearance alone. Dogs of different bloodlines may show marked differences in morphology, build, and size, although these differences may not always be evident and similarities can be found between various bloodlines. If you want to buy a pit bull with a healthy and true bloodline, you should review official documents and records documenting the dog's origin and genetic history. You can use documents and records from dog registrars, for example American Kennel Club, United Kennel Club, and breeders to get information about a dog's genetic history and bloodline. You can also review photos and videos of the dog's parents and other descendants by contacting the breeder. This can help to see the common physical characteristics and builds of dogs of a particular bloodline. However, keep in mind that documents and records are again important to pinpointing the dog's bloodline. Finally, contact the breeder who has done the health testing and evaluation of the dogs and their parents to make sure the dog is healthy and has a good genetic history. This will help you confirm the dog's bloodline as well as his overall health. What are the three most popular bloodlines in the United States? The most popular American Pit Bull Terrier bloodlines in the United States can vary and change over time. However, in general, the three most popular and well-known bloodlines at the moment are Razor's Edge This bloodline was created in the early 1990s by Dave Wilson and Carlos Barksdale. Razor's Edge is known for its shorter and wider builds and played a large role in the development of the American Bully breed. In recent years, this bloodline has gained great popularity in the United States. Gaudy Line, Gaudy Line Gotti Line was founded in 1997 by Richard Barajas. Known for their short and strong build, this bloodline has its origins in a famous dog, Juan Gotti. The Gotti Line enjoys considerable popularity among American Pit Bull Terrier dogs. Colby Line The Colby bloodline was started by John Pritchard Colby in 1889 and is one of the oldest and most respected bloodlines in American Pit Bull Terrier history. Colby dogs are known for their athletic build, intelligence, and excellent working abilities. These three bloodlines are considered popular and respected bloodlines of American Pit Bull Terrier dogs in the United States. 
However, other bloodlines can also be important and popular, so it's important to do your research to determine which bloodline is best for you if you're considering adoption.